Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk Bulldog hockey. And with us, head coach Bob Daniels. Coach, first of all, welcome to the show. Good to be back. Highly competitive weekend uh, to start off the 2015-2016 season uh, against Western Michigan. Talk about that uh, that rivalry. Uh, first time you guys have squared off in a couple years and, and how this past weekend was. Well, in terms of getting the rivalry renewed, it was great. And uh, it, uh, you know, the idea that we can go an hour and 40 minutes down the road, play them. Um, what I really like uh, about the weekend in terms of uh, the rivalry is the crowds at both rinks. And, uh, you know, I don't know that they weren't a sellout, but they were pretty close. And we weren't a sellout, but we were pretty close. I thought both buildings had a lot of energy in it. And, like, the fans were really engaged. And then in regards to the hockey, it was excellent. Uh, it was really hard fought. Um, I th very competitive, tough, almost mid-season in its feel to it. And, uh, and it, it's a perfect way to start the year in terms of preparing us as we start moving, looking forward to conference play. But um, I was real happy with the way the team played on the weekend. Now, we're disappointed we didn't win on, on, uh, on the weekend. We lost on Friday and, and tied Saturday, but uh, wasn't disappointed in the way we played. And, and I, I saw uh, more good than bad, let's put it that way. And we go to the highlights of Friday's game uh, on the road Friday night in Kalamazoo and a tough place to, to open the year uh, going on the road into a hostile environment. Yeah, it is. It's a, a real difficult place to play for the visiting team, uh, although we'd much rather play uh, in front of a full crowd, an energetic crowd, loud crowd, than we would, uh, you know, in, in a quiet building. Um, we also had a, an awful lot of Ferris fans that, uh, that came to this game, and so uh, it, was, uh, it was pretty good. And, you know, you can't, you know, that's the end where, where it wasn't full, but, but the sides are, are packed, and, um, you know, their side was obviously, uh, you can see that crowd there. And the opposite side of the arena was even better yet. So it was, it was a good, like I said, energetic crowd. And you know, we jumped out to a lead. We, we held the lead most of the game. Uh, you know, they, they were playing catch up the whole way. And then eventually, uh, the, the difference in the game you'll see here, they're, they're going to get a five on three goal. I think we're still up one nothing at this point. Um, if I had one knock on our team on Friday night, it was too many penalties. And, and they, were, they were useless penalties, if you will. Like they were 200 feet from our net. In other words, we were taking them in the offensive zone. So that was my one knock uh, on, on that game, and, and we corrected it for Saturday. Uh, one another positive on the weekend was a play of Charles Williams. He, he was really in there. There's quite a few highlights. Really strong. And what I liked about him, with the exception of one play that we'll see on Saturday night, he was really good with his rebound control. We'd like to get a goal here. Kenny Babensky uh, to give you a 2-1 to one lead uh, in the second period and a uh, nice place to be at this stage of the game. Yeah, and that line had a really good night. They accounted for both our goals, uh, you know, Babinski's line. So uh, really happy about that. Now, here's a goal scored on, on Charles that's going to be disallowed because the player kicked it in the net. Um, and, and the call is if it's a distinct kicking motion, it doesn't count because he don't want guys with skate blades kicking, you know, in large pileups. Uh, another power play goal, great shot. Can't fault Charles on that. Um, if anything, we, we, we needed to be better on the kill, and we, we needed to stay out of the box. Two to two after two periods, and then uh, here in the third, Western Michigan will get the go-ahead goal to make it a, a three to two game. Yep, uh, and, and that was way too easy. It was our penalty kill four check breakdown. Um, certainly something we talked about going into Saturday night's game to make sure that we tightened it up. And really, we gave the team two marching orders because we liked everything about the way we played, including the power play. Everything looked good. Less penalties we needed, and we needed, uh, on the time who do get shorthanded, we need to be better at, at killing. Finished uh, Friday night's game, then a quick turnaround. Uh, you travel back home, and then home opener on Saturday night against Western Michigan. Uh, talk about the environment on Saturday. Yeah, another electric uh, in, uh, ice arena that night. It was. Uh, we had a great crowd. Our student section was engaged, as they always are, and it was terrific. And it, as you watch this game unfold, and I think we've got quite a few clips, but you know, it, uh, Charles is uh, clean on these saves. There's no rebounds. He's he's really. You know, he's gobbling pucks up, and, and he looks really solid in there. It doesn't look like a goalie that hasn't played in a year and a half, and this is the first time he's played back-to-back -back games. Now, what we just saw there, here's the second penalty shot we've given up in two weeks. Last week it was uh, Lethbridge, and, and uh, the good news is Charles is 2-0 and on those penalty shots. <laughs> Yeah, scoreless game um, much of the way, and then we'll see Western Michigan uh, in the third get a get an early goal, but uh, your team was able to answer. Yeah, that's right, and, and we, we uh, as the game went on, we started really carrying the play, and I thought in the third period in overtime, we were definitely the dominant team, and, and uh, you know, I think that's a, a testament to the work that Dave Sensor does with our strength and conditioning, but we, 
this uh, Western's a really good hockey club. They're they're much better than what they were coming, you know, thought of coming in. They're they're a good club. That's the goal. I'm sure Charles on the weekend would like to have back. It was in his glove. He needed to hold on to it. Now I'm sure we had some breakdowns other places, but here's a, a, a really a nice goal. It's our only goal of the game. Um, but good feed and a good play. This is a line that we're going to look for those kind of goals with uh, Shemp and, and Mayhew and Robertson. we got a senior, two juniors, and that's the kind of play we need. This is the overtime 1-1, one, one, and right to the end, you can see, but a lot of overtime was like this. We had pu uh, puck in there under the rink, a lot of really good opportunities, just couldn't get the game winner. But, uh, you know, we keep playing like this, we're going to win our share of games. Bulldogs outshot Western Michigan on the weekend both nights. Uh, certainly have to like that uh, going into the start of conference play this week. Yeah, I do, and, and I think we can do a little better job at limiting the shots on, on goal, uh, but in terms of generating scoring chances, generating shots, I thought the guys did a great job. And we uh, also got some really valuable and important minutes out of some of our freshmen. Um, you know, uh, Corey Mackin played quite a bit. Uh, we got uh, uh, Riker Killens in on, uh, on Saturday, and I thought he had a really strong game, and I was, I was really happy with, with his play. The, probably the negative of the reason we were able to get Killens in uh, was that Simone Denis got hurt on, on Friday night. Um, it's more precautionary than anything, but uh, the good news is that everything lo looks pretty good for, uh, for Simone. Well, Coach, finally uh, here uh, this weekend, Michigan Tech uh, coming to town to continue a five-game homestand, start a conference play. What, what do you expect out of this weekend? Boy, it'll be a lot like last week, and uh, they, if anything, uh, Tech might have a little bit more firepower up front, uh, and that's nothing against Western. I, I like their team a lot, but uh, it's a veteran team coming in here for Tech. They're one of the teams picked, either them or Minnesota State or Bowling Green, as, as the teams to beat in our conference. Um, but we're looking forward to it. We're not going to, I mean, this is going to be a, a tough 10 game stretch that we're in, uh, but we're really looking forward to it. And I'm very optimistic going into it. Uh, uh, you know, just the, the, the things like the question marks going in, like Charles Williams, how was he going to be? And, you know, some of the freshmen. And a lot of that was answered this past weekend. So I would expect two really close, hard fought games. Well, Coach, best of luck to the Bulldogs as you start conference play this week. Thanks, Rob. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.